KJ memes and uh, little videos with KJ's face on them while I tell stories. What more could you ask for? You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. My subscribers, all almost 300 of you, <laughs> feel like I'm getting somewhere. But anyway, sorry I've been missing for a couple days now. I had some dental work done. Didn't feel like talking much. Couldn't talk much at that. But um, I'm feeling better today and... You know, we got a lot to catch up on and whatnot, but I feel like everybody's talking about what's happening right now, and I feel like what we really need to focus on is how we didn't see this coming. This lady's been um, grimy since, you know, way back, way, way, way back. So we're going to go back in time a little bit. We're going to start at uh, back before WOACB was able to be grimy on a mass scale. We're going to start back at her little uh, mom group that she had with about 20, 30 people. Um, you might know the story, you might not. Um, I feel like it's really p imperative to talk about the pattern of this woman being straight nasty. So yeah, let's just do that because I feel like if I make another video about what's happening right now, then you know, it'll just be another I'll be like the thousandth one to talk about it. You guys probably had it at this point. So instead of me making a whole video about, you know, what's been happening, I, I missed a couple days, so I'm a little late for that anyways. So, um, yeah, this meme right here. I told you I had a bomb. Yo, I face swapped her. Tell me how creepy that is. That little girl looks just like her. KJ is, was meant to be this little girl. She's the little girl from that meme with the fire behind her. That, one, that meme we've all seen before, right? And then here's KJ as uh, Elon Musk, right? <laughs> That's one ugly dude right there. KJ and Elon Musk. Oh, there she is in the bushes. Just checking on you, Tati. Here I am in the ferns, you know. And there she is on the computer deleting stuff. That's her right there. Deleting everything she can delete. This is her, like, I don't know, 50 years from now. Like, ooh, still waiting for me to say sorry and shit. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to say that's her son. That would be very wrong. <laughs> I wish I could just talk over all the memes and videos I have of her. But anyways, let's get to the story. You ready, guys? Oh, there she is, dumb and dumber. How she lives her life every day. <laughs> okay, here's the story now. I'll stop. All right, once upon a time. Oh, oh, don't look at me like that, KJ. Don't look at me like that. Why are you staring at me? Why are you hiding in my bushes? Why? <coughs> Creepy lady. Oh, Todd, why have you not come for your girl yet? <coughs> oh, fuck off. Todd, please just come get your girl. <coughs> I just want it to stop. Now, initially, I wanted to thank one of my subscribers for giving me this story idea, or, you know, bringing this this uh, this story up to me, and then it caused me to go research it and, and, you know, get the whole story and piece it together. So, I don't know if that subscriber wants me to say her name, so I'm not going to. Um, I just, you know, I don't want to take all the credit because somebody else definitely told me about this. Like, I took it upon myself to go to other you know, avenues to find out the whole story and piece it together. So here it is. So almost nine years ago now, um, there was a group that existed that Katie Joy Paulson of Without a Crystal Ball was the group owner. It was a Facebook group, I believe. It was a mom's group. I know we've all probably seen those mom's groups on Facebook. <laughs> then this group in particular was a small group. It was about 20 to 30 people. It was a nice little tight-knit community they had established, you know, being there for each other every time there was a problem or just to talk about mom stuff. You know, things were going good for a while. And then KJ happened, which we all know where this is going to lead, I think. Um, and it just shows the same pattern has been going on long before she was ever, you know, made semi-important from having the Amber Audio. Because before that, let's face it, nobody really knew who she was. That Amber Audio made her throw up, blow up. Excuse me, throw up. I think of throw up when I think of KJ. The Amber Audio made her blow up. And she thanked Amber, Amber Portwood by uh, trying to get her arrested and thrown in jail and taking her kids away from her. So... That's the thanks she got, but that's that. That's a different story. So so in the beginning of this group, um, you know, nine years ago, KJ started asking her group members for help with a quote-unquote family member. Now, if this family member really needed help, I don't know. Um, I'll never be able to really know that I wasn't part of this group. Um, I couldn't find a definite answer if this family member that needed help really existed or whatnot. So they ended up having a fundraiser. For the family member um, these generous women sent care packages nice ones too um, they donated money they even sent food they did all kinds of nice things right um, they really stayed true to helping one another and all was well as far as having this mom group of friends that was built over a couple of years not months years 
Now, like I said, KJ was the group owner. So the spotlight was oftentimes put on her because that's how she wanted it because that's how she needs things to be. So um, as the group owner, anytime someone else needed support like she did for her family member, all of a sudden KJ would pop out with like a crisis or some life altering event would pop up and, you know, the attention would be dragged back on her so it was almost as though she couldn't bear to see another woman getting support that you know she had gotten uh she craved it so these things began to happen quite often actually it became so clear that she was attention starved and wouldn't let anyone else take the glare off of her so this continued for a while so it went on and on and on um it ended up you know woe is me bring me the sympathy back to me like she does so well it worked pretty well um she manipulated quite a few women to consistently run to her rescue be there at every beck and call you know and this would happen over and over until eventually everyone started to notice that kj seemed to be taking advantage of their kind hearts and empathy so these women started to sense that she was a little too attention hungry and even more so than the average attention seeking Facebook drama llama, mama, mama drama llama. <laughs> some situations that KJ complained about were legit, they think, and some others sense to be over exaggerated by a stretch, a long stretch. And uh, so this persisted. So they sensed it, you know, and then time went on and about a year later, questions started coming up. Um, women in the group started to feel uneasy about KJ and her her poor me stuff. And uh, although people were taking note of these little things that KJ was doing, um, no one really talked about it. They thought like, oh, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm overthinking it. And then, you know, KJ de definitely seemed like very unappreciative of the help that these women were constantly dishing out. They were consistently, you know, dishing out help to, the, to her for every little thing, I guess. So financial help was given when she said she was broke with thousands of dollars in repairs home repairs okay and before the group knew it kj was building a house so it became very suspicious to the members and you know her little friends in the group that they started to see the money in that kj was spending and showing off and they started to wonder that if that money that they were sending was in fact going to the things that KJ said it was going to like like emergency piping situations and, and carpets and things like that so these new expenditures were obviously a huge red flag to the group members who were already thinking there was something not right with her so um you know she was saying she had nothing she also would say her and her hubby were struggling and you know she was this poor thing yada yada so yeah after many many donations she was suddenly spending kind of crazy um she wasn't spending in a way that somebody in her situation probably should have been. And to top it off, she was kind of like, you know, not throwing it in their faces, but making it clear. She wasn't hiding it. So no one really called her out at the time. Although there was some small chatter going on in the background, people were talking. They didn't really want to think those bad things about KJ. They didn't. They wanted to give her the benefit of the doubt. I mean, they had... You gotta remember, they had grown close to each other. They had shared personal life issues, mom stuff, family stuff. So they wanted to give her the benefit of the doubt in a way. Um, you know, they'd grown close to her. They, they were kind of thinking maybe, hey, they were overthinking everything. Plus, you know, she has a medically fragile child. <laughs> gotta remember that, the medically fragile child she always brings up. So they just decided to keep the bizarre feeling to themselves. Well... That all changed one day when Katie made a very bizarre comment that went something like, if it wasn't for all these donations you guys have given me, then we would have never been able to buy this house. So that didn't help the red flags that were already starting to go up, you know what I mean? So at this point, shit began to hit the fan, okay? I think that the girls in the group, the women in the group, have had enough with her shady ways at this point because it was then... It came out that KJ wasn't this great person that everyone thought she was because she was consistently saying bad things about someone's child behind their back, okay? She was talking about the other girls to other girls. She was, like, constantly, you know, saying bad things about the women that she was supposed to be appreciative of, the women that have helped her. You know, it was really weird. So all that came out, right? The fire spread and everyone began talking about it. So the comment about the child wasn't, you know, 
for public consumption. It wasn't something she wrote on the group group wall or whatever. It was a personal conversation she had had with somebody. Um, so what happened next is the, um, you know, the other women were already sick of her, basically. Um, then they were coming hip to her way. Then she said, you know, if it wasn't for these donations, I wouldn't have my dream home. Um, and then it came out that she called a woman and her baby ugly she was calling people in the group rednecks acting like she was above everybody else and you know just talking down about the the women behind their backs the same women that helped her so it was kind of messed up seeing as this group became really close confidence and had spent you know a long time helping kj with lots of different stuff be it financial or moral support um these are the same women that helped her so it didn't go over very well i mean you call you call it a chick's baby ugly, I mean, <laughs> there's going to be hell to pay, you know? So I can only imagine it didn't go over well. And it all, all the truth came out and, like, people started realizing what a backstabber KJ really is. So um, now behind the scenes, right, she was hitting people up, on sliding in their DMs like, I never said these things. You guys know me. I would never do this. Um, you know, she was trying to save face, trying to, you know, make her point that this was not true, there was no way, this, that, and the other thing. Now, all this sounds so familiar, doesn't it, guys, already? Okay. So, once the screenshots came out, there was no way to defend herself. People were realizing she was lying the whole time. And that's when um, she deleted the group and she ghosted, right? So, in an effort to erase the horrible things she had did... Um, you know, she did what KJ always does, and she deleted and retreated. And that's not even all, because she thought that deleting that one group would solve all her problems, but little did she know there was another group she was doing this in, and those people began to come hip to her ways. So she realized that just deleting the group wasn't going to fix her problem, so then she deleted her Facebook. So, yeah, the screenshots come out. There's no way she can defend herself. She deletes the group, then realizes it doesn't end there, deletes the Facebook, and she just straight up ghosts. She doesn't apologize to nobody. She doesn't say bye to nobody. Nothing, 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 nothing. Went straight ghosted. And one day, one of her ex-group members that she had become close to, who, you know, obviously was there for the, the, the big devastation of the demise of the group, was on Reddit, right? She was like in a teen mom thread or whatever, and she saw KJ on Reddit, okay? Now, KJ was on Reddit asking everybody for donations for the Ronald McDonald house. But the only weird thing was is that the donations were going to her personal PayPal account. They weren't going to a PayPal pool. They weren't going directly to Ronald McDonald house. They were going to her personal PayPal. And you got to remember, this wasn't on Facebook anymore. She had found a new field of women and people to manipulate because she started this shit on Reddit. She was like, hey, I need donations for the Ron McDonald house. Just send it to my PayPal. And then the chick from her group was like, yo, I don't know if you guys know this, but this lady is such a manipulator and a scam artist. And, you know, don't give her money, this, that and the other thing. So she called her out. Thank God for that, you know. So her and KJ got into an argument, KJ blamed everything on her, you know, the, the typical things that are happening nine years later today, you know? So moral of the story is, leopards don't change their colors, y'all. She's doing the same exact things, using the same exact manipulation tactics as she's using today, okay? There is a such, and I've said this before and I'll say it again, there is a such thing as a PayPal pool, okay? And it's full disclosure, why this woman continues to this day to run donations and stuff like that and fundraising and is not transparent with it is beside me and it's a huge red flag and I'll say it again any of you people out there that are dumb enough to donate to KJ may God help you so here we are nine years later with the same cycles continuously repeating. This is not new stuff, people. This has been going on for like a decade now, okay? And probably even longer than that. So if any of, any of you guys out there having second thoughts, like, oh, maybe I'll stay subscribed or whatever, even just keeping that subscription to even watch her and laugh at her, whatever it may be, you're still helping her out. So if I were you, I wouldn't even subscribe to her if you subscribe to watch and laugh. You know what I'm saying? Like, just don't subscribe to her. If you subscribe to her, like, you're helping her, you're helping her gain the public's trust and continue to run these tactics and continue to manipulate the public. 
She's got to be stopped. She has to. You know, YouTube's not doing nothing about it yet. And I say yet and I mean yet because I feel like something is coming with her. Because it just, I feel like it is. But that's just my opinion. But yeah, this is all real life stuff. You can look, you can look for some of it on the without a crystal ball reddit page which i highly suggest everybody check out man there's like a those people are good they document everything <laughs> kj cannot hide from nothing on reddit man so check that out and that's the kj story from nine years ago and if you like my videos and if you want to hear more kj stories or whatnot whatever it may be uh make sure you hit the like button make sure you subscribe and you leave a comment all right and um, I try to respond to all comments. I definitely want everybody to have a voice. I don't delete and retreat like some people. Um, if you don't want to agree with me, you don't have to agree with me. But just know that I'm probably going to make you look stupid. <laughs> okay, Heidi, bye. Oh, come on, that's funny.